Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I thought I'd hop on and work with one of Scrap Diva Designs dies. I cannot wait to play with, I, well, I couldn't wait <laughs> to play with this one, so I thought I would try and get a video done. I am a very beachy girl. I mean, I'm from California, so I mean, come on. We're around the beach all the time. So I always love anything beach theme. I don't do beach theme projects just because, I mean, I don't really, I just don't do them. Um, but when I saw this, I just thought it was the cutest thing and I really wanted to put one together. This is going to be the same as the card holder tutorial that I did. Um, I don't know how this is supposed to be put together, but it looks pretty self-explanatory. Um, so we're going to go through this step-by-step uh, step with each other for the first time. I'm pretty sure that there's already videos out of this die because uh, it's been out. But for those of you that don't um, know about it or haven't seen it, then you guys can go ahead and stay tuned and watch, uh, watch with me or craft with me, whatever you'd like. So yeah, that's the die that I'm going to be using today. I'm not going to do any decorating or anything. I think I'm just going to put the base together and then when I can, I will do a separate video of me decorating it. Okay, so um, this die right here, um, I am going to have another project out of me using this die right here. So if you guys want to see that, I will make sure to have that link down below. I think I'm going to have all the project shares and stuff in a uh, playlist as well. Um, so that way it's easier for you guys to get to. So the collection, I when I saw all the summer stuff, I was like, okay, I need to look for a cute summer collection that I could buy. But I realized I have so many untouched summer collections and I need to start touching them. So, or like playing, kind of sounded weird. I need to, you know, start working with them. So one that I saw, um, I actually wasn't planning on using this. I totally forgot I had it, is the Damask Love Sunshine Boulevard. I did do a haul of this, I think last year from Joann's and I picked up so much of it. Um, I mean, Joann's always has a great deal on their paper. So I have the project pad, some of the 12 by 12s. Um, well, I have a lot of the 12 by 12 papers, the six by eight paper pads. I have a couple of those and I do have some scraps. I've only made a little journal using my cinch because my cousin was over and I asked her if she wanted to try out the new machine with me. She's uh, nine years old turning 10. So, um, you know, she's still into like the cute little journals and whatnot. I thought this collection was cute for it. So we made journals using this and we didn't use that much paper because we mixed it up with some cardstock too and other things. So I have some scraps. I'm not entirely sure what pattern paper I want to use, but what I'm going to do is choose the papers, die cut it off camera, and then I'm going to do the same that I did with the, uh, bookcase or sorry not bookcase the card holder and put it together with you guys so I saw this paper as I was looking at it and I thought this one was really cute <gasps> look at the little floaties on here would this be cute for a little bucket hmm I might need to because I have to cut this out twice um, I might need to do a full 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, hmm. Oh, and of course the baby's waking up. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of go through... Oh, her, his sister was in the room. That makes sense. <laughs> she probably woke him up. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to go flip through these. I'm going to look through the scraps first and choose some of the pattern papers. I'm gonna go check on the baby and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. Um, I went ahead and I die cut all the pieces that I needed for this here. Um, I did actually realize or like notice that um, for the bottom of the sand bucket, there's only two little hinges on the side to attach to the side pieces here. Um, and so I'm thinking 
maybe, I mean, I think it's the die was probably made for it not to attach to this piece here because technically you don't really need it. But for extra stability, I am going to create some hinges for this. So I do need to do some measuring. Um, luckily, I still have some left over of this cardstock. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I use this basil pink icing cardstock. This is one of my favorite pink ones. But uh, let me just go over the different kinds of pieces that I cut out. So for this right here, which is the main piece for the sand bucket, I cut that out twice out of pink cardstock and also patterned paper. So I have two of those for the front and back, and then I have two side pieces, and that's right here. This is the bottom piece. So the bottom is right here. I cut one of those because that's all you need is just one bottom piece. Um, this is for the sand bucket handle. And I actually cut this out of a darker pink cardstock. This is also 110 pound cardstock. All of this is 110 for extra stability. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but there is a very slight difference between the two shades of pink. So I cut that out one time because that's all you need. And then, like I said, I did die cut some patterned papers. So for the patterned papers, um, I did do gold rims for the sand bucket rim up here. And then I last minute saw this pattern paper in here because I was looking through it um, to find some pieces to line the inside of the bucket. You don't need to, but I think it'll be really nice to hide the uh, pieces that we're going to be gluing on the inside. If you guys have seen my um, card holder tutorial, you'll see what I'm talking about or you know what I'm talking about. So I have two side pieces and two front and um, two pieces of the main piece which is the front and the back. And then for the outside of the box I have again two of these ones right here which are the front and back and I have it with this really cute palm tree print. Um, same collection. It's a pink background and it has some palm trees on there so I have two of those. Two for the side pieces and two for the bottom. Um, right here and I really wanted to use this floaty paper but I might have to just do a second bucket because <laughs> I ended up finding some other uh, papers okay and then I thought this paper was actually perfect because the die for the layering piece of the handle it actually um, lined up perfectly to get one of the I don't know if you guys can see this but a strip of the words and it worked out perfectly as you guys can tell there's no other words on the top or the bottom of this piece so uh, the part that I got I did shell yeah and party time to have on the handle thought that was really cute so I die cut that once and these were this little piece right here okay so for the bottom like I said I need to measure this. Oh, should be fine. Never mind. Forget it. Okay. So let me get this out the way. I'm going to go ahead and just set these. This right here measures about two and five eighths of an inch. So I'm going to do two and five eighths and this is a quarter so by half an inch. So I'm going to do two of those. Let me just make sure. Yeah, two and five eighths. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right here. I think this actually should be enough. Um, get my paper trimmer out real quick. I should have done this off camera, sorry guys. So two and five eighths is right here. I'm gonna go a little bit shy of two and five eighths so that I know it's gonna fit nicely. And then I'm gonna do two half inch pieces. These are just going to go in my scrap bin. I need to change my blade. I swear I changed it. Because <laughs> now there's all these little... Alright, so I'm actually just going to 
shed off the little pieces here because it's bugging me. Alright, so there they are. And then I have to just score these at a quarter of an inch. Okay, so we should be all good now. I'm just going to fold these in half. I'm going to glue these down now. Um, I think I'm actually going to, because for these to work, I need to notch the edges. So let me... I'm just going to notch these edges a little bit. So if you just fold it in half, here let me show you. So you fold this piece in half and then you're going to just cut a little bit of an at an angle up to the folded line at the corner. Like this. As you guys can tell there's a straight edge and there's that cut edge. So I'm going to flip it and do the same thing, I'm just going to go inward. Oop, that flew somewhere. So when you open it up, if you want to, you can just cut it at like this. So let me show you. You can do cut to the edge here, to the middle, and then same thing here. Okay, so I am going to use liquid glue, which I probably should just use double-sided tape for video purposes, but it's okay. Alright, so I'm just going to keep it folded and line it up with the edge. And since mine's a little bit shorter, I don't know if you guys can tell, let me just glue this on here. I'm just going to make sure it's centered. And I think this to keep it in place. So when I'm doing 3D projects, I am very like uh, careful when it comes down to like making sure it's glued on there. So I usually like to use my bone folder and make sure it's really stuck onto the other piece. I'm just using Nuvo because that's glue on my reach at the moment. Okay. I'm just going to open it up and then just kind of use my bone folder to get in there. I'm just going to use this to hold that down. Okay, so those are just going to set to the side for now. You can do stitching on your layers, but if you're going to do a um, sequin like or shaker on the front, you're going to have to sit like stitch right against the edge and honestly I'm not going to do that. Um, it will look really cute, maybe for the next one I will, but I didn't want to have to switch out my thread. It's a uh, mint colored green and I don't think this is mint green. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue down the front pieces because remember these are just for the inside. I'm going to glue these down first before putting everything together. I just like to have the papers glued down so I know that they're going to be glued down very well um, before doing anything else. So I am going to use again liquid glue and this is just going to glue right up against all of those. I might just fast um, speed up this part here. to actually use some of my scraps which was really cool. I didn't really have to cut through a brand new piece of paper except for the inner parts because the inner parts was a pattern that I didn't have a scrap of. Now 
was actually able to run all these pieces through my manual Big Shot machine. Uh, I just placed a bunch of the pieces together onto my standard plate and honestly was able to run these through pretty quick. I just didn't feel like getting my switch because it is not in my craft room at the moment. So, okay, there's that. Alright, and then I am going to glue um, these little pieces, which are for the top of the bucket. Totally forgot. I just got this gold piece of glitter paper from my scrap bin with my specialty paper. So cute. I was thinking of popping this up actually, but I honestly forgot just now. But it looks fine. I think when you're using glitter paper, you don't really have to pop it up because I feel like that glitter already is adding a lot to the project, so it's all good. All right. So now these can sit out and dry really fast. Um, actually, I think I'm ready for it to be glued on now. Okay, so let's just come in together pretty quick, actually. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue in one of these uh, pieces here to the bottom. Um, because nothing is going to be attached to it anymore, so I guess we can keep this open. Again, these little flaps here, you don't need them. If you're going to add like shred or anything like that, it might peek through the little crack that opens up there, so just keep that in mind. This paper is so cute. Okay. Alright, so there's that. So now, I'm going to slowly, gently put these um, with thicker cardstock when you have an embossing piece that you need to fold over you have to fold it very carefully because you can accidentally fold where you don't want to so I've done that before I think even in my card folder video I think I made that mistake I don't want this to dry up I don't have my little glue holder this desk. So the best way to put things like this together is just to go step by step. So I'm going to start off with this one right here. I'm going to glue this down. You know, when I don't know how to put things together, if like it's my first time, I end up messing up. So let's hope I don't do that here. Alright, so it's gonna go on the inside. Line this up here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue on one of the sides. And just remember this goes at an angle, so bring up the top corner with the top of the bucket. Make sure if you look on the inside, you can check to see if this corner here meets down with the bottom of the bucket. So I'm just going to put that down. Alright. I'm going to do both of the sides. So I'm going to glue the other side down. Remember, it's going to be the opposite side of what you glue down first. I 
I love to, you know, reinforce with my bone folder just to make sure it's going to be stuck on there. So I'm just going to glue or put this on to make sure it's going to glue on the top very well. All right. Now I can put up these two sides right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add my glue. So if you don't have these ends that are going to be attached to the front and the back of the bucket, all you have to do is just adhere these two sides to the uh, side of the bucket. I say bucket a lot, but because that's what this is. It's always easier to have one of the larger sides open so that way you can kind of get inside and make sure everything is glued down there nicely. And you can actually, you sh could have glued this on here just because these pieces right here. But I think what I'm going to do is just cut them off. That will be fine. But definitely you can, uh, you know, I guess it wouldn't really work that way. So I might have to just cut those off. Alright, so let me go ahead and glue this down. Guys, it's coming together so quick. I'm blast right now, so when the kids nap, they get hot, so I usually turn that AC on. So this glue's gonna dry quick if I don't work fast enough. Just gotta be gentle with it. Make sure I look at all the edges. When you're using liquid glue and you're using your bone folder to, you know, reinforce it, uh, it can shift. It's you know liquid, so just gotta double check time. It's so nice. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and use these to uh, keep them down. That should be fine. Okay. Cool. So we'll let this set to the side. Um, I am going to glue this to the bottom. You don't need to have this if you don't mind for the bottom part to be blank. But I thought it would be nice to have. Could have done this in the beginning too. I'm going to go from the inside. That's how it's looking so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. I'm just gonna put them together and I'm just gonna cut at an angle. Uh, I'm gonna use my smaller scissors. You can use a paper trimmer too if you don't feel comfortable cutting. But just kind of make a little, I want to go at a straight line, and that should fit nicely. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, cool. So these are going to cover the little um, pieces here. Let me show you all. So if you guys can see... On the inside here, you could see where we glued all those pieces. And so I'm going to use the pattern paper to cover all that up. This is the other side. I was going to use this one, but I didn't want to, I don't know. For some reason, I really wanted those colorful palm leaves to come, um, be in the inside. I was about to switch it up and use this for the outside, but I was like, nah, I'm going to stick to my original plan. So adding this paper on the inside is going to add even more stability to your sand bucket. Remember this is a 
layering piece so there's going to be a border. If you don't want the border you can cut out the side piece twice and then just cut off the little flaps um, that glue. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, like I was saying, I, I don't even honestly don't remember what I was saying, but um, yeah, it doesn't, oh, I remember now. Uh, I always end up forgetting or just realizing I could have done a step before doing the step I was doing. Does that make sense? Just like this bread. I could have done this before gluing these down, but it's too late. But at least now I know for next time. But knowing me, I know next time I'm probably going to forget it again. Because I always do that. Okay. Put this down. You just need to be careful because these edges here do stick out. So I realized that earlier when I was pushing down on it. Didn't flatten it since it was really a... Uh, it was really thick because of all the paper. And the glitter paper made it really heavyweight. But just want to be careful. So there's the inside. How cute. I could have done that inside uh, this pattern. But again, this was last minute. So. Okay. Which one do I have? This is the front. So now for the little... Um, okay, so for the bucket uh, handle, ooh, this actually is not going to work. Okay, so brads are not going to work because it's really short. Um, if you want to use brads, you can connect two pieces or cut your own um, to make it to where you can lift it up and stuff. Or you can even make a cute little bag. Hold on. Wait a minute. <gasps> hmm. I don't know. I might have to. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm going to switch it up here. I think that looks so cute. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. One second. I'm going to die cut one of each of these pieces again and then I'm going to grab, do I want to use gold? Grab a couple more of those brads because you guys, the little handles on the sides are just too cute. I cannot, yeah, it will look way too cute. Okay, so I'm going to, do I have enough of this? Please have enough. Nope, I don't. I'm going to have to try to see if I have any more scraps of this somewhere. Um, to cut it out, but no, it's even shorter. Okay, so let me do that really fast, and then we'll go ahead and finish up the base of the little, I guess, purse now, or something like that. <laughs> like beach dope. Alright, so one second, guys. Okay, guys, so... Um, I went ahead and I die cut another one and this time I got the beach please in there and so I thought that one was really cute um all right so I die cut this out I've luckily found a scrap of this same color cardstock so I'll just throw this right back in there all right um so a couple things I went ahead and I pulled out some, um, brads. Now, I don't know if I want to use, like, the, these, like, larger brads or the, some tinier ones. And I found these. These are the Be Sweet brads from Fun Stamper's Journey. And I was thinking I can use that. So, let me go ahead and just glue these on. could have done that on. I think I'm going to use my... Okay, so I'm just going to use my little adhesive because it's going to be... Um, there's going to be some brads on here anyway and also the cardstock is so thick um, I want it to be able to bend nicely and when you use liquid glue it's going to be a lot harder. 
So I'm just going to use this here. So now, I'm just going to take a bone folder and kind of curl it up here. What you're doing is like, um, because it's so stiff, you just want to break the fiber so it doesn't crack. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that here. And you can tell it starts to kind of loosen up. Alright, so now... Ah, <gasps> so cute. Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay, so I might have to use smaller brads. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to use gold or white. The gold is kind of throwing me off. Just because the gold I used on here is a little lighter. Yeah, I'm going to use smaller brads. I'm pretty sure that should be fine. Just use some pink ones. Okay, so I think all I need to do is just uh, like punch a little hole here. I should have measured this, but I'm going about an inch, maybe one and a quarter. Yeah, like an inch down. And I'm just going to use my tool here. This is a We Are Memory Keepers. 1 eighth inch? 16th, sorry, it's very tiny. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. I kind of have to see where it's going to punch the wall. That looks pretty centered to me. Oh yeah, that's good enough for me. Okay, so that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest here. Oh yeah, that's cute. I can always switch it out if I want something bigger. I'm just going to line these up here. You know what I'm going to do is uh, to get the measurement correct here, I'm just going to line these two up and then punch this out. Just so they're all the same. So I'm just going to flip this over. Same here. My mom's in Cabo right now <laughs> with my dad. Um, my older sister, they're there for my niece. She graduated high school. We were all supposed to be there, but I've just been having a lot going on, so. Okay, it's okay. Call it right back. So, here's this. And just gonna bring this to the back and clip this. Hope you guys are crafting with me so that you guys aren't just listening to me talk to myself. If you guys want to measure all this, you can. This was last minute, of course. Leave it to me. But here we are. Here I am. It's okay if that's all that even. Alright. Put this on. Like I said, I could have put this pattern paper on after the fact to hide the little brads in the back. That's all good. Once he hears my voice, it's game over. But at least this is the last of it. Oh my gosh. 
thing is testing me for sure. Okay, there we go. You know, it's not too bad because the brads, in a sense, uh, the paint is somewhat coming off. I mean, brads are usually like that. But um, they're kind of blending into the inside, so it's not too bad. It's a little off, but you can't really tell. But it looks like a little, like, beach bag. Yeah, this one matches up pretty well. This is the front, so I ain't tripping. But <laughs> here it is, you guys. <gasps> how stinking cute. I don't... Is this how it's supposed to be? I don't know if she had it to be where it's like this, or it's supposed to be, like, one. But you know what? Whatever it is, it's such a cute dye. I can't wait to... to embellish this um i can't do the shaker anymore because i covered up the front so yeah it's actually meant to be this way but that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and use some more of her dyes to decorate this farther um, i will go ahead and uh, record that process when i can but i hope you guys enjoyed watching me put this together um, i hope you guys got some ideas on what you can do with the dye because obviously you can do so much it does not have to be a sand bucket so um, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed watching me create this on camera if you guys are interested in watching um, any other videos that I have with her dyes I will go ahead and have those in a playlist for you and also um, keep an eye out for the decoration process because I definitely want to decorate this with you guys on camera so um, I hope you guys have a great day whatever day it is that y'all are watching this and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.